I'm Italian and I think we do know quite a lot about wine. I'm here in a Swiss vineyard and it tells me more than anything else that environment matters. Whether it's the soil, the terroir, the expertise that goes into nurturing the vines, this all fits into the quality of the end result. When you look at the problems of the Eurozone, how much of it is history or nationality, and how much of it is the soil in which the ideas are planted? War is what makes states big. Europe fights like no other continent in history. And you go from this tiny place somewhere at the tip of the Eurasian landmass with no track record of inventions or anything else, and within a few short hundred years of constant warfare, suddenly you have big consolidated states that can really get stuff done. And we had the maximum increase in Big Brother's effectiveness when they competed incredibly intensively militarily. And we can still try to preserve some of that competitive spirit, for example, by not having in Europe everything regulated. Big governments in Europe tend to be big just when they have to collect the taxes. You can't have that until you have a real and concrete and efficient European tax regulation. It must be avoided that some countries in Europe, under the name of competitiveness, simply create kind of legal tax heavens. First growth, Premier League, Olympic medalists, top performing fund managers. What's the real root of success? Why would you fix something that's not broken? Sometimes, if it ain't broke, we should consider breaking it. Because there is always a delay between cause and effect. If a company is successful today, that's not because what it did yesterday, it's because what it did four, maybe five years ago. That means that sometimes we gotta drive change when it looks like we don't need to change. A great company creates competition, it gets competition, so it doesn't stay a great company in the long run. So you have to be careful to buying the best corporations because they are the losers of tomorrow. You have to challenge yourself, you question yourself, the manager has to question himself all the time and, and that's also something we want to see and what we check. What if someone brings you a really expensive bottle of wine and it turns out to be corked? Something you thought was the best available turned out to be sour grapes. When Lance Armstrong showed on the 99 Tour by winning the prologue by an absolute mile, he'd never come near being competitive in a prologue. Now he's winning it in totally dominant fashion. I'm thinking, what's happened to this guy? I decided going forward that I wouldn't mind that people thought I was crazy for not accepting something, that I wouldn't mind being the guy who was out on a limb. Our challenge this week and every week is to work out in advance which harvest would be overpriced and which one would deliver a vintage crop.